biggest thing that uh, parents are there to support you. And Why did you choose university over college? Yes. I really missed my time in my university. You learn a lot from Hello everyone. Here. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Harleen and today we are here at York University with our special guest Rashmin. Uh, so we will talk about the main questions that everyone has and we'll also take a look at York University campus which is amazing like menu bahut sona lag raha hai waterloo the comparison de vich menu bahut vadda lag raha but yeah you must have seen my university tour like waterloo tour um this is a new series where i will go to different universities i'll try to go to different universities and talk and show the their campus talk to their students so i hope you guys like this video so let's get into the video I have a special guest Rashmin here. She's a York University graduate and she completed her bachelor's degree here, bachelor's in commerce. So Rashmin, welcome to my channel. Thank you. So, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, sure. So, hi everyone. My name is Rashmin. I just graduated from York University under the BCom uh, degree and uh, currently I'm working as a case processing officer at ECC Visa and it's really nice meeting you, Harleen. Thank you so much. So, we, so how this video is going to be like we will make a York University tour. फिर उसके बाद असी मैं थोड़े बहुत क्वेश्चन पूछूंगी लाइक मोस्ट कॉमनली आस्ड क्वेश्चन आई एल आस्क रशमीन तो असी वो भी आंसर करा एंड दिस वीडियो विल बोथ बी इन इंग्लिश एंड पंजाबी सो दैट एवरीबडी कैन अंडरसटैंड बाकी हूँ आप चलते हाँ तुम मैं दसो कितने कितने जाना मेन कैंपस कील कैंपस एट योक यूनिवर्सिटी एंड सबवे स्टेशन विद इज क्वाइट फेमस एंड इट्स वेरी एक्सैसेबल टू कम टू योक यूनिवर्सिटी थ्रू सबवे एंड ईवन टी टी सी बसिज आर ऑलसो वेरी एक्सैसेबल ईवन लाइक इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स आर लिविंग इन ब्रैम्प एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम एंड दे कैन एक्सेस फाइव ओ वन जूम बस टू योक यूनिवर्सिटी विच इज़ डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम ब्रामी सिटी सेंटर स्टेशन सो दिस इज द मेन ग्राउंड मेन अट्रैक्शन ऑफ योक यूनिवर्सिटी दिस साइड यू कैन सी कैन एफ टावर इट्स अ वेरी गुड बिल्डिंग आई फील इट्स वेरी ब्यूटिफुल and that's york lane so we'll go there soon and you'll be seeing um many shops around where you can see book stores and the basic shops for eateries and uh, here it's accolade buildings and these are all uh, buildings with big halls for uh, lectures and to the so this is very hall and this is the main attraction of york university so there are many uh, big lecture halls here and you can see this pond it's oh, wow, uh, one of so pretty yeah it's one of the main attraction here and uh, yeah this is uh, usually very full of uh, canada geese and they are not here right now <laughs> okay why did you choose university over college so i chose university over college because uh, universities di padhai di value zyada hundi hai it is uh, long term beneficial for you you get good jobs after graduating from a good university and padhai hamesha long term kaam aandi hai puri zindagi tode naal rehndi hai plus my parents always wanted me to go for something different than what other students go for yeah. and uh, Yeah so I applied basically for three universities at that point and got I got an offer of admission from York within two weeks Kedi kedi apply wow wow who kedi kedi apply I applied for University of Windsor McMaster and York University and I was doing my plus 2 at that time I have already appeared for my IELTS in my summer vacations and uh, while I was doing my plus 2 I got an offer in oh, wow. <laughs> way, like way in advance yeah. Yeah so um, I completely agree with her uh, statement ki education is something long term like it's a long term investment uh, in yourself ta karke like jadon bhi idda di cheez hundi hai don't compromise on your studies so here we are at very hall and we'll go inside and check and I'll also ask Rashmin another question
how was the fee structure like my fee structure was usually according to courses but my per semester course was approximately 15000 to 16000 uh, dollars during summers uh, it was uh, less depending on how much courses you opt for are there any scholarships or bursaries for students so the international students yeah so during covid they were they granted us like uh, $1000 off per semester for three semesters basically so i got like a scholarship of $3000 during uh, the peak covid times and uh, afterwards uh, in my last semester i applied for an international bursary and i got uh, 3000 another 3000 dollars for that so basically in my entire uh, three year course i got a scholarship of 6000 dollars oh that's good that's good you time university like do you miss i really missed my time in my university it's been just 4 months since i left my university but i really missed and i really want to come back again and study more <laughs> yeah i think this, that was the best time for me as well like when i was in it's the best it's the best time So guys, we are at Scott Library, which is one of the famous libraries here at York University. Story Library. So is this your like favorite spot to study? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, like during my first and my last semester where I was uh, studying in person, I used to come here, but there was lots of restrictions around. But yes, I enjoyed coming here because you can easily get so many books here. Yeah. How was your part-time job experience? Did you have a part-time job? Yes, I did my first part-time job after almost completing my first semester at my university because in the first semester I was trying to figure out uh, certain things right? Mm -hmm. when you're new to a new country. And I uh, almost uh, 10 different jobs um, in my three years and uh, it was like basic odd jobs as a cashier in a grocery store, as a cashier in a um, retail store and stuff. Like there are so many jobs um, but you have to be patient sometimes on when the first month they which email you or second month they which email you. Sometimes it takes time like Rashmin said ki she took one semester for herself. Like you have to take that time to figure things out. Okay? Especially if you are in GTA and yeah. if you are uh, uh, studying from a university you need a lot of time to study and you need to figure out the bus routes and stuff and everything is so yeah. new. Yeah, I agree. Like take that time for yourself. Um, don't rush into things. Ki like my job, labni hi labni a part time job. It takes time. But yeah, I have one question because I dekh rhiya, like York University campus is huge. Like are there a lot of on campus jobs as well? There are a lot of on campus jobs. It's not necessary ki to see sirf apna, um, restaurants de which come karo, but uh, there are many administrative jobs, part time jobs that you get, especially during summer time. Uh, if you follow the main pages of York University on Instagram, they'll uh, keep uh, an update on job postings. Mm -hmm. You can always apply there, and if you are uh, having good skills, you will easily get a job at on campus. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no restriction on number of no hours. That's the best part. Yeah. So definitely check out on-campus jobs as well. So this is their, um, I don't know which area, but like some rec area. enjoy Give any one advice for anyone who is planning to come abroad, like any student who is planning to come for studies here. So my just a basic advice will be that uh, never give up. Uh, it is a hard journey, but you can do it and everything will be worth it. Just don't be too much homesick. It's okay to be homesick, but just don't demotivate yourself. To it's only you that you can uh, uh, push up yourself to do something good in your life and your parents and always think that uh, parents are there to support you and uh, it's a country of opportunities and you can always grab a good opportunity for you. This is a very size lecture hall in York, da, but York has uh, halls which is bigger than cinemas. Oh wow! <laughs> Actually, it now is. It is. Yes, wow. because there are approximately three to 400 students during one class and it's even 500 at some time. Oh wow, there's, there's amazing. Like economics or basic subjects. Haan, basic subjects. So is, we yeah. have approximately 500 students at a time. Oh wow. So I have another question for Rashmin. Uh, ki when she came here, 
ਕਿ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਈਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਾਸ ਇਟ ਹਾਰਡ ਫॉर ਹਰ ਇਨ ਹਰ ਫਰਸਟ ਸੈਮੈਸਟਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਸੀਗਾ ਅਸਾਈਨਮੈਂਟਸ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਦਾ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਸੀ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਟੂ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਕੰਪੈਰੇਟਿਵਲੀ ਟੂ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਥੋੜੀ ਥਿਓਰੈਟੀਕਲ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਇਧਰ ਦੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟੀਕਲ ਹੈ ਪਲੱਸ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਡਿਪੈਂਡੈਂਟ ਔਨ ਯਰ ਲੈਪਟਾਪਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਫ ਰਾਦਰ ਦੈਨ ਬੁੱਕਸ ਟੂ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਐਂਡ ਅਸਾਈਨਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਸਟਰਕਚਰਸ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਫਰਮ ਕਾਲਜਸ ਇਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਐਂਡ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਫਰਮ ਇੰਡੀਆ so you need to you learn a lot from here like you'll be a pro in computer in the basic computer skills and uh, you'll be good in uh, grammar you'll be good in vocab and it's a uh, it's a pool of opportunities of learning so guys we are at their student center and it's huge like bahut sare restaurants hai gaya which is why like canada is multicultural so you can see there are all types of restaurants here So guys we are at their student center York Lanes right York Lanes and you can see there are so many different restaurants Canada really is multicultural you can see like Mexican food here Thai food American uh, oh there's shoppers drug mart as well so there is tons of options for you here yeah so there is a salon as well which is like amazing so that no the sara kuch itthe mil janda si right nails at your free time oh wow oh there's dental office here bubble tea uh, shoppers so rashmin i have another question mai tonu bahut sare questions puch rahi hain um best things about york university yeah like university in general so you get more uh, flexibility in universities rather than colleges you get flexibility in choosing your teachers your courses and uh, your time tables especially so it's completely up to you uh, what days do you want to have your class and the rest of the days either you can study or you can work part time and uh, one thing that it's a very lively campus and you never get bored if even if you're alone i don't have much friends at my university but i used to uh, so enjoy my time Uh, so much here because i have my few of my favorite spots around and there are many things to do around the university extra curriculars and uh, many good restaurants to eat <laughs> so guys that was pretty much it thanks to rashmin who came all the way from brampton to make this video with me thank you so much and i'm sure people will love this video and it will like lot of them will find it helpful So thank you once again. You're welcome. And uh, please like, comment and subscribe if you like this video and drop me down like which university do you want me to go next? <laughs>